Right guys, you're joining us on the first dry day in Scotland in the last three weeks so it's time to get stuck into the big motorhome project which I showed you in the last video. So this is it guys, it's a 1996 Fiat Ducato and I think for the last four years it's been getting dodgy MOTs but as you can see here's a little telltale sign of what's going on here. We've uh, just lost a finger in there and if we go around this side, this is much the same. Um, I've not even showed you underneath yet. So the amount of welding this is going to need, I'm going to have to get this interior stripped to stop any risky fire. So first things first, let's go and get some door seals off. We'll get uh, the door steps off and remove some carpets. Take it for there because underneath this thing is terrible. When I show you underneath, you won't even believe it had an MOT last year, so let's get it over there, get it stripped and take a closer look at it. I know this is an old van, but check out the mileage on it. Will it focus? 49,383. I've not checked the MOT history. I'm not sure how legit that is, but by the condition of the van, I'd say it could be, could be true. It's fairly clean inside as well. It's quite dated looking, but... Good old van, horn works. Right, this is the failure sheet we've got now. So as you can see, there's a load of welding on it. It's mainly the steps and uh, the sills at the bottom. Right, so I'll get the interior stripped on this van and then I'll give you a closer look at uh, the welding work. While I'm doing that, Charlie's getting stuck into a Skoda Octavia VRS. This is the one we had on the channel before for welding. It's actually broke a window. It was just sitting there in the hot sun and the window exploded so we've, the guys ordered a second hand one, it's in the boot Charlie's ripping the door card off it now It's still got Come round here It's still got all the original rivets in it so I don't think this has ever been off before and we don't actually have a rivet gun here so I might have to go out and buy a rivet gun for somewhere I wonder if Thomas Smith had got one I need to go and have a look. But yeah, let's get stuck into this van, strip the interior, get the carpet out of it, and then we can get a closer look at what we need to do to fix this. This is why we needed a dry day. It's actually taller than the grey bit of the opening. If we didn't have the lowered ceiling in this bit, the door would open up far enough and it would go in, but we decided to keep that because, to be honest, I wasn't expecting a motorhome, but you've got to take what you can get. So, in typical Scottish fashion, two minutes into doing the job, it started raining again. So, I suppose I'll give this a miss for a wee minute, and we'll jump onto this door card with Charlie and just give him a wee quick hand. He's drilled out most of the rivets, so let's get this popped off and have a look at the window. Right, so after getting all of this Skoda Octavia door in pieces, it turns out that it's not actually the window that's broken. The window regulators gave up the ghost. Um, and... Uh, driven by a cable inside and as you can see it's rotten, split and the windy's dropped because the cable snapped so that's another job we can't finish I'm going to have to order a, a window regulator for it so let's jam this window up for now I've already spoke to the customer he's going to take the car back for a couple of days I'll jam the window up we'll no bother putting the door card back on we'll just tuck everything back in and let him use the car for a couple of days uh, well, we wait for one to arrive, and hopefully by the time we've done that, the rain might have stopped and dried up a wee bit. We can do a bit more of the camper van. Right, there we go. Good old school repair. Windows back up. Nice wee wooden frame. Door handle still works. Wing mirror works. So at least they can use the car for now. It's still drizzling with rain, so that's put a stop to that. The Audi TT is back. Um, getting a wee bit of work done, the wiper blade stopped working so we had a look at that yesterday, it needs a wiper motor so we need to order one of them, we need to order a window leg regulator yeah, all the jobs that were supposed to be straightforward and easy today have turned into a couple of days of waiting for parts but I suppose that's the motor trade so 
We'll see if the rain stays off, see if we can get some of this done. But what I think we'll do in the meantime is pull the chimney in and should we test fit the arches on it, Charlie? We'll pull the plastic yeah, we'll, ones off. Well, uh, we'll get the plastic ones off, we'll get the new ones back on and uh, we'll see how it looks, see how it lines up because the bumpers we think are going to need a bit of modification. Yeah, I think. I did see a picture of one on Google and the bumpers, the original bumpers had been cut at an angle to look like the aftermarket ones but obviously they're no aftermarket they're just angled like the aftermarket ones so we can try that so yeah let's pull the chimney in take this out, pull the chimney in I'll bring the motor home back in, in case it does stop raining we can do a wee bit and we'll take it for there what do you think of Charlie's new haircut? After a bit of cutting, grinding, shaping, we've managed to get the snorkel fitting. We've still got the two wee holes to drill at the top for this bracket, but we don't have a riveter at the moment. Um, we did have to cut a bit of this. We need to cut the wheel arch to fit the fender flares. I wanted to double check that the fender flare was going to fit between the snorkel and that, so we test fitted that as well. But we'll get them on properly tomorrow. Uh, Charlie just wants to bolt this up. We'll throw the airbox and everything back in, get a start up and we'll see how it sounds. But yeah, fairly straightforward to be honest, even though we lost the instructions, we worked it out. Yeah. Don't look too closely at the inner wheel arch. We do need to do another wee bit of welding on there. <laughs> Just yeah, wee, bit. wee bit of welding at the back, wee bit of welding at the front. The reason you were set up far away from the car. This guy, man. Just put the two in, maybe. Where was this guy getting his MOTs done? Maybe the same place that guy was getting his motorhome MOT'd. Who, who had a look at it at Coport? Because they must be blind. Exactly. Ten miles. Anyway, never mind. It's only a speed bump, Charlie. It'll still be a cool car when we're finished. Right. Throw the air filter back in. Charlie's gave this a blowout because this was absolutely filthy, wasn't it, Charlie? It looks like it's not been replaced in a long while. Battery back on, and then we can start this wee thing up. See what the snorkel sounds like. Obviously, we, we are very gently nipping the battery up with a gun. We don't advise everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, these guns, we had a vote for the raffle to see if you guys wanted Mayor Tools or Infinity Wax products. We've decided to do both. And what we've done is we've done a raffle for one of these Kielder guns, half inch gun. Uh, sorry, no, 3.8 drive gun. Same one we use. We've got the half inch one as well up there in the box. But these are amazing. They're by far the best battery impact guns I've ever used. So the first raffle's for one of these. And for the next two weeks, Every time you buy tickets, you'll get extra tickets free. So if you buy two, you get two free. Buy four, you get four free. Buy six, you get six free. So double opportunity to win one of the Kielder guns and the Infinity Wax products, guys. So make sure you hit the link below. Remember, all the profits for the rally uh, from the raffle go to the Veterans Rally. So it will be split between the three fundraisers. Every penny will go back into that. So get buying and win yourself some tools, guys. Right, let's see if this snorkel makes a difference. What do you think? Yeah, it's I don't know, because it's still got the standard filter and stuff in it. It might get a bit of induction noise, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Is that it just ran out of fuel? Must have. I know we were trying to run it low. It is jacked up as well. I think it is low in fuel, so... It's hot. I don't want to like... Oh, a wee... 
Did that cut yourself? I cut it off. This well, is. It was, about, it was about to cut off itself. That's a new fuel. <laughs> it's so super low in fuel. This tank will be easy to drop. I've tried to. We tried to run it as low as we possibly could so we could drop the fuel tank out here before we do any welding on the back. But there's a little bit of induction noise off of that. Hello. You happy with that, Charlie? It should sound a little better under load when you're on the road, get it? I know. Some beans. So. I think that's about all we're going to do tonight. We'll pick this back up in the morning when we'll fit all the fender flares and decide how we're going to cut these bumpers. Yeah. See you in the morning. Right guys, it's the next day, sorry if you can hear the wind noise, but this little chimney, we've got the arches on, we've got the snorkel on, and it's looking really good. So we've got the wide arch on the back, wide arch on the front, we need to do a bit of modification to the original bumpers, the snorkel's on, looks good, sounds good, Charlie's done an awesome job with the headlights, we've managed to save them, we've got all the black paint off, all the tint. All that stupid Angel Eye LED rubbish is gone and it looks good again. Seeing it like this has obviously gave us a load more motivation to get this little car finished. Obviously we need to get this done and sold, but there is problems with it. Biggest problems are rust. You can see there, I can see the outside. It's the same in behind the headlights, we need to do the inner wings. And of course, as you all know, the boot floor, which has been cut out now. So we've got the original cross member here which obviously held the seat belts and the back seats I've ordered us a new I've ordered us a new bit of cross member channel here so we can build this up and make it as close to OEM as possible we are going to make our own panels for this because I want to make them a bit stronger because this is going to be doing a lot of off-road stuff it's going to get a bit of abuse and it's going to, we're going to have some fun in it so going to be doing all of this ourselves if you want to watch that make sure you hit the subscribe button stay tuned for that we've had pretty much a whole week of problems the chimney's got more welding than we expected the audi tt needs a wiper motor we've not been able to do the motorhome because of the weather and the skoda octavia also needed a window regulator but by far one of the biggest problems we've got at home built garage is me and you guys some of you guys might be in the same boat I tend to get very, very, very carried away. You'll have noticed on some of our cars that we've done in the past, I overdo everything. If it needs one brake pipe, I end up doing four. If it needs one bit reef, if it needs one spring, I end up doing four. We end up stripping, cleaning, painting everything just to make everything look as good as possible. While it was raining and we were waiting for parts to come, we decided to give the garage a little clean up, a little freshen up, maybe touch up some of the white bits. And of course, we got carried away and it turned into this. As you can see, we've gave the walls a bit of a touch up, but we also decided to clear out everything and we've decided to go for one black feature wall with a black ceiling. We've seen loads of other YouTubers do this. Apparently it's good for lighting and I think it's supposed to make it feel higher, but we've also got a bit of a plan for that wall which you guys will see soon. Uh, we wanted to have a good tidy up because we've got real good news coming. We've got a couple of big sponsors coming on board and we want the place to look as good as possible so as you can see we've painted part of the floor again um, let's see that then out we've painted the first part of the floor we've got the bench legs painted everything's all done white nice and tidy so when this dries tomorrow we need to get all of this tidied up put back nice and neatly over there then hopefully it doesn't rain me and charlie can continue to work outside and then Katie is going to give us a big help and paint the front part of the garage for us. So hopefully that will get done tomorrow. Everything will be back to normal and uh, we can crack on. But yeah, it's going to look so good when we get our new sponsors announced. We're going to have some big banners up, some lighting, some loads of good stuff. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. It's really exciting times. 
We've also got the motor show coming up on the 13th of August. We've got two cars going to that at Dumfries. And remember, we've got the competition as well. If you want to win that uh, 3 8 drive Kill Their Impact gun, you can click the link below. Go and get your tickets for the next two weeks. It's double entries. So make sure you go and grab some. All profits get split between the three fundraisers for the Gibraltar trip. So thanks again for watching, guys. We're going to go and get tidied up and stuck into this. And we'll see you next time.